So let's look at how we can use the NetAlly LinkRunner AT2000 to troubleshoot some Ethernet link problems. So in this case, I come in and I run an auto test to see if I can link to a device at the far end. I can't. So when I can't link to that device, one of the first things I do is I go in and I run a cable test to see if the cable's good and if I'm connected to anything. My results show me all my pairs are good clear out to the end. So I can tell the cable's good, I'm just not connected to a switch. So let's try that again. We are going to run the test and we're going to see if we can connect. Can't connect. So what do I do? I go back in and I run the cable test. In this case, our cable test results are going to show us that pairs 1 and 2 are broken at 34.1 feet. So if I ever want this cable to work, i got to fix those pairs. Fixed the pairs, connected it to the switch, still no link. I run my auto test, nothing. So what is going on here? I know my cable's good because I had tested it before. I connected it to the switch. So I come in here and I run my cable test. My cable test comes back and what it shows me is that I am connected to the switch, but it's not powered on. In this case, we're connected to a switch, but that switch port is disabled. So I enabled the switch port. I tested the cable. I'm going to run the test again, still no link. So I come in and I run my cable test. My cable test tells me that pair one and two is bad again, but I am connected to the switch because you see those aren't open at the far end. So finally, I got the cable fixed. I got it connected to the switch. Switch port's enabled. Good sign. We've got our link light. We've got our transmit light. Now we're getting an IP address. We're getting our link. We can even zoom in to that link right there and see what speed and duplex we're connected at. Success.